experts and got some clear, simple answers. One of the most common questions is, if I already have health insurance, can I keep it as is? The short answer is yes, there's nothing in either bill that would force you to lose the insurance you have right now. Can I keep my doctors? Again, yes, the bill doesn't change the status quo. If I change or lose my job, can I keep the same insurance? No, but the government would set up a new insurance exchange that you can buy into. Low and middle income people would get subsidies to buy this insurance, and you wouldn't be excluded from these exchanges if you have a pre existing condition. If I'm on Medicare, will there be cuts to my benefits? Not as of right now. There's nothing in the bill that would cut your benefits. But many Republicans say in order to pay for the bill, there will be no choice but to cut. Will my taxes go up? In some cases, yes, some high wage earners would pay higher taxes. If I'm uninsured right now, how soon do I get the help to buy health insurance? There's a big lag time under the House Bill 2013 and under the Senate Bill, not until 2014. So why the lag? In part because Congress is engaging in some creative math here. In order to make the bill look less expensive, they had to push out many of the major provisions for many years. Diane? All right, Dan, if that's what the House and Senate bills seem to agree on, what about those big differences Jonathan Carl mentioned? Time for the bottom line, and we turn to George Stephanopoulos. What about it? Is it a bridge too far between the Senate and House bills? Will this pass? I think it will, Diane, but it's still going to take some negotiating, as John Carl said. There are two big differences between the House and the Senate bill. The first is on taxes. The House has a surtax on the wealthiest Americans. The Senate has this tax on these high-priced Cadillac uh, health insurance plans. The surtax isn't going to fly in the Senate. What's going to have to happen in the House is you shave back this Cadillac health insurance uh, tax and you pump up the subsidies for working Americans. Then the issue of abortion. Both bills contain what they call a ban on federal funding, but the Senate one is a little bit looser than the House one. And so some pro-life Democrats and Republicans in the House are against that. It's very difficult to see how they're going to solve that. Diane, this final, the final hurdle on this bill is going to be the issue of abortion. It affects one-sixth of the economy. Abortion is going to be the big issue. Let me ask you about the other big uproar today, of course, which is about some senators, members of the president's own team, seeming to get special treatment. Uh, well, you're in a situation now where every single senator has a veto over right. the bill, and the senators who like the bill, the overall bill, the least, have the most power. So the only way you're going to get some of those provisions out is if the senators themselves decide, you know what, it's too much trouble, I want to get it out. Shame is the only thing that's going to work. Could take it out in the conference. Themselves. They come out and say, you know what, I want to give it up. All right. Our thanks to you, George. And that's our coverage on health care reform tonight. And we turn to travel.